Hey Scorpios, um, I'm here to give you guys a new moon reading. We've got a new moon coming up next week and I just wanted to do a little energetic check-in to see what you guys might want to be working on manifesting. Um, new moons are the best time to manifest new goals and new hopes and new dreams and good stuff like that into your life, whereas the full moon is when you want to let stuff go and release. So for the new moon coming up um, next week, I just wanted to do some moon card pulls for you guys so i started with my moonology deck i did the oracle cards um separate because i'm gonna keep these videos a little shorter for you guys um you guys pulled the you and your loved ones are safe this is new moon in cancer um this is a great comforting energy scorpio it's water energy just like um uh, you guys are also water sign. It's water energy. It's in your wheelhouse. But um, it's also new moon energy, which is a double down on the new moon coming up. So it's giving me a strong indicator that whatever you are trying to manifest this new moon cycle, I want you to know that um, whatever you're doing, um, you are protected right now. You and your family, whatever choices you're trying to make, whatever you're trying to sort out, Scorpio, um, know that you guys are being watched out by spirit right now. And then from the Lunar Nomad Oracle, I pulled the woman card. This is a divine feminine. This is an empress type card in the tarot. It's a divine feminine energy. It's about tapping into the feminine side. It's also about listening to intuition, um, taking care of your home, everything like that. The whole theme of the oracle that I pulled for you guys, there's something big changing in the, in the home life. Um, and it's going to take the need for you to trust your instincts and tap into the divine feminine and that nurturing energy side of a water sign to make sure that you and your family are protected and everything going on. Um, from the Queen of the Moon Oracle, we got Extremes, which is full moon energy. And we also got Change, which is the Thunder Moon card, also some full moon energy. And sitting right in the middle here was Peace. I feel like there's some chaos, um, Scorpio, with Change and Extremes. And then the piece in the middle, you're trying to find a, a, a zen right now with whatever's going on in your home. Um, I'm going to pull some tarot to clarify on this because I don't want to like jump the gun and say that there's something going on. I, um, I get a, an abusive energy from this uh, that's tearing somebody apart. Extremes and change. There's something disrupting the house um, that uh, it's not a positive feel that I'm getting from the jump. And the person in the middle of all of this just wants to get into this energy of peace again. I get strong Mars energy from this extreme card. I'm going to pull some tarot from the um, Deviant Moon to see if I can clarify. Can you clarify the new moon in Cancer? You and your loved ones are safe. All right, Scorpio, we got the Six of Cups with the Hangman. Okay, the Six of Cups is a nostalgic energy. Um, it's about a past energy. It's past love. It's um, thinking back to love and how it was in the past. And you're also sitting in the hangman position. This gives me the energy um, that you were once in a place of stability, Scorpio, in this past situation. And you're feeling like it's not as stable anymore. You're reminiscing about the past and you're wondering if it's ever going to get back to the stable place that it was in the past. And you're wanting to take a new path and you're thinking about how to fix this and bring things back to that balance that you had previously. Can I get cards for the woman, please? Yeah, what did I just say about manifesting? Um, magician. <clears throat> what else do we have for Scorpio for this woman card? January 2021, new moon. Scorpio, um, it's wanting with the... With the Magician, yeah, and the Two of Wands, you're knowing that a different approach needs to be taken in this situation. Um, this is strong energy, Scorpio. You've got the New Moon energy and the Magician, which is the ability to manifest. A New Moon is when you want to manifest things and set new intentions. But you have to make a clear and concise choice about the direction that you want to take this in. And to do that, you need to listen to your intuition and the divine feminine aspects of your personality to make this decision. It needs to be a uh, decision that's going to make you feel secure in your home life. It's a decision that's going to be best for your family, not just you personally. Can I get some clarifiers on the extremes? The Divine Feminine, I mean, she, I mean, she's the Empress. She is the ultimate mother of the deck. So 
So whatever this, uh, this situation is that's going on, Scorpio, you need to weigh how whatever it is that you're manifesting is going to affect your family. Because I do see there's some extreme energy. Like there's a lot, there's a transformative change and it's almost a violent tower moment disruption. Ace of Wands. Yeah. The energy, I mean, she's protecting her baby in this one. And it's wanting a new passionate beginning in something. And it's clarifying this extreme card, which is more fire energy. There's either something, um, let me see the other ones. Yeah, Eight of Swords, being stuck in your head about which way to go, feeling trapped. King of Wands, more fire energy. Queen of Pentacles, here we go. And the Chariot, yeah, you need to move on this fast, Scorpio. All right, the two people I see in this situation, I see the King of Wands energy. It was a fiery, um, passionate, fast-moving energy. Uh, they make decisions spontaneously. Uh, they don't think them through. And then the, the the feminine energy in this is the Queen of Pentacles. She Look at all the little children around here. I feel like this has to do with children, um, stability of a home life for children, especially with this Ace of Wands here protecting protecting the baby. There's a need to protect your home right now, Scorpio. And one of the energies involved in this situation is a chaotic one. The other one is just trying to seek, seek stability. This could have to do with addiction from one of the parties, abuse, um, abusive language, actual physical abuse. I hope it's not that. Because if it is, chariot on out of there quickly. Quickly. Because it's the, the change is chaotic. She's in the middle of a storm. And this is the uh, this is the position you're trying to get into. <coughs> Can I clarify peace, please? What is this peace card about for Scorpios? January 2021. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords. Yeah, Scorpio. There's something hurtful going on in this connection right now. And I feel like you know that you need to walk away from it and do it quickly with this chariot energy. But you're worried that if you walk away from this situation, you're not gonna be stable in your family life anymore. It's why you're sitting on the decision. But look at your heart, Scorpio, it's been destroyed. And you know you need to throw up this energy and just walk away from this because it's not, it's creating, it's creating turmoil right now for you, Scorpio. What's this change card about? Yeah, Scorpio, this situation's done. Um, we got the Ten of Swords popping out. This with the Three of Swords, Scorpio. This is the Ten of Swords stabbing somebody in the back in the Rider Waite. This was a big tower moment that happened. Page of Pentacles. Somebody's wanting to come in and fix it. Bring balance back to it. The Hermit. You got the hermit and the hangman. Y'all are stuck, stuck right now, stuck in your head and fear. You fear changing this situation because you think it's going to lead to a lack of stability. Huh. Yeah, seven of swords energy. This is the sneaky um, dishonesty. This is um, not wanting to sol swallow the sword of truth when I see it in this deck. Someone's not wanting to see this situation for the truth of the matter and what it is. But it's asking you to have strength right now. Strength to pry the jaws open on that monster and, you know, deal with it. Scorpio, if you're in an abusive situation right now, I I'm highly advising you to get out immediately. Um, you need to bring yourself back to this balance and this peace. And right now, energetically, is the perfect time for you. You've got new moon energy and divine uh, divine feminine energy su supporting you this month during this cycle. So if you are wanting to change this situation, it's asking you to pull from your inner strength, from that divine feminine energy, and move quickly out of this situation to bring yourself back to this balance and this peace. All right, Scorpio, um, let me know in the comments, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff for me so I can stay at home with my babies and just read tarot for y'all and not be out in these Atlanta streets catching COVID. Uh, if you got any questions or if you need a clarifier, personal readings, all that good stuff is available. Hit me up in the comment section below. Love you guys. Have a good one.